Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on double angle formula for tangent function. So we're given that tangent alpha is 3 over 4 and alpha is in quadrant 3 and we're supposed to find tangent of 2 alpha. Now, the trick of this problem is uh, it's in the 2 alpha part. Tangent has this bad habit. If you get into quadrant 2 or quadrant 4, tangent is negative. So first thing we want to make sure is this tangent of 2 alpha is not in quadrant 2. Okay. Once we decide that, the rest of the stuff is pretty easy. We were told tangent alpha is 3 over 4. What I'm drawing here is a 45 degree angle here. Okay. Tangent 45, of course, is 4 over 4, which is 1. Now, we were given tangent alpha is 3 over 4, so it's a little bit shorter on this end. So here's our alpha. So this is a 4 units and this is a 3 units. As you can see, let's write it over here, alpha is equal to pi plus a little bit of theta, what we call the reference angle of theta. Okay, This theta is less than pi over 4. It's smaller. This is pi over 4. Okay. This is important because 2 alpha is equal to twice of pi plus theta. And you can see 2 pi, we don't really care, it goes around the circle. But the 2 theta part is important. 2 theta, since theta is less than pi over 4, 2 theta is less than pi over 2, so in quadrant 1. Okay, which means 2 alpha is going to be a positive thing. Okay, now, let's go back to the easy part. Tangent of 2 alpha is equal to tangent of alpha plus tangent of alpha. I'm not going to go through the derivation here. Um, I might mention a little bit if we have time, but overall it's a pretty easy thing once you figure out this chunk that 2 theta indeed is in the first quadrant, so you don't have a negative sign here. All right, tangent of alpha is equal to 3 over 4 plus 3 over 4, which is twice of that. Basically, 1 minus 3 over 4 squared. Well, that's pretty easy for us to do, hopefully. 3 over 2 times, um, let's write it on this side, 1 minus 9 over 16 which equal to 16 and 7 on top. So I'm going to flip this. 16 goes on top, 7 goes on the bottom. I have 8 here, 24 over 7. Okay. Now, once again, I said earlier, it's important you decide if tangent alpha, if the reference angle is indeed in quadrant 1. Reference is in quadrant 1. So we know that tangent to alpha is greater than zero. It's not a negative. All right, so that's the final answer here. All right, that's how we handle double angle formula for tangent function. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.